making sense of your PPC data is a crucial part of your paid advertising effort. However, the amount of information available to measure performance makes it seem like an overwhelming task. Don't panic. There are always guidelines and tips you can put into practice while going over your advertising effort. In this video, I'll give you tips on how to analyze your Google and Microsoft Ads keywords data to measure performance and ROI. But before we get started, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notifications button. Now, let's dive right in. Installing conversion tracking. First, you need to install conversion tracking within your campaign. Conversions are valuable actions such as website purchases, phone calls, contact forms, app downloads, or newsletter signups. With conversion tracking, you'll be able to see results in the conversion column within your Google Ads or Microsoft Advertising Results Dashboard. Conversions. It would help if you made sure the keywords you're using are driving conversions. If you find keywords with a low amount of conversions within a recent period of time, for example, the last 30 days, make sure you haven't added them recently. If that is the case, you should let them run. If not, evaluate if this is due to seasonality, seek improvement opportunities, or even consider pausing these keywords. Pro tip, use historical data to compare conversion volume during the past one, three, and six months. Depending on the product or service you're selling, you may encounter keywords that are not driving a high amount of conversions, but are driving high profit. This usually happens when you're selling products and services with varying prices. For example, let's assume that you're an e-commerce business selling sports motorcycles and accessories through search ads. The profits generated through the sale of individual accessories will be significantly lower than those made through the sale of individual motorcycles. Always keep this information in mind when reviewing keyword performance. Cost per click. Another KPI to watch out is your CPC. If your industry is affected by seasonality, cost per click will increase as more advertisers join the competition for ad placement. You can use Auction Insights, Google Trends, or Microsoft Ads Intelligence tool to evaluate the demand of the keywords you're bidding on. Assuming that the cost per click of a given keyword is high, conversions are low, and search volume is limited, it might be better to pause this keyword. However, if there is a high search volume and the keyword historically has had a high conversion volume and ROI, you can try improving your ads, modifying bids, or adding negative keywords to improve performance. When evaluating your keywords within one ad group, prioritize quality over quantity. Consider pausing underperforming keywords or those with a high CPC to better distribute your ad spend to the best performing keywords or other ad groups. Click-through rate. CTR is the percentage of people who clicked on your ads after they were displayed. This is the first step towards obtaining a conversion. Analyzing this metric alongside conversions and quality score will give you an indication about what needs to be improved. For example, if your CTR is high but conversions are low, you should evaluate your landing page experience and make adjustments. On the other hand, if your CTR is low, you'll probably need to make adjustments to your ads, such as adding more extensions or writing more competing titles and descriptions. While evaluating CTR, keep in mind that display campaigns may significantly affect this metric. This campaign type is excellent at improving exposure, so CTR will drop due to more impressions if you launch one and will pick up if you decide to pause your display campaign. Quality score. Quality score depends on the expected CTR, ad relevance, landing page relevance, and other similar relevance factors. If your quality score is low, you should follow the tips we shared in our previous outtake. If you have a high quality score, but still not getting traffic, you need to make sure that the keyword you're bidding on has sufficient search volume. And the bid amount or bidding strategy allows you to stay competitive for high position. Make sure the keywords follow the same theme of ads and have relevance to the landing page, as this is a huge factor in earning a great quality score. As you add more campaigns, ad groups, and keywords to your Google Ads or Microsoft Advertising account, it will take more time to analyze all the data. You can use scripts or automated rules to establish when the system itself should pause keywords. Of course, this is only a superficial action, since you should take the time to analyze overall performance of campaigns and ad groups in depth. If you want to learn more about how to analyze and audit your PPC campaigns, visit our blog or email us at info at to request a free PPC audit or learn more about our Compass package for agents.